Hi, I'm Josiah. And I'm Victoria. <laughs> we're, we're, we're a family of four, so we have uh, two wonderful boys. We enjoy, you know, bringing our family to church um, every week and make church a priority for our family. I think it's important to raise our kids in church uh, just because um, they, they're able to grow in the faith and to, to understand that we're, we're not all perfect. We're all, you know, uh, in, in the works. We're all, you know, in, in the process. Um, but they get to learn, you know, that what faith is and who Christ is. Victoria delivered Lucas in, in June of last year. All was kind of going well until one, one weekend when he got a cough. He kept on getting sicker kind of that weekend, and I, I listened to him, uh, with the, um, like listened to his heart and his lungs. I just want to make sure they were clear, and I heard a heart murmur. And then we ended up uh, in the ER, and he was admitted to the hospital, and he was diagnosed with RSV. Every day he kept on getting sicker. Uh, we were pretty scared and upset, and that was, Kay Paul showed up. We talked with him, he spent some time with us, and we all prayed together. And then the next day, uh, he had an echo of his heart, and it was diagnosed that he had a significant, uh, a severe heart defect called coarctation of the aorta, and he was gonna require heart surgery. So we were transported down to Riley. It was determined that it would be safer to wait for surgery and to let him recover from his RSV. So Victoria was still in Indi Indianapolis with him, and I came back up to Fort Wayne, uh, to be with our son and just to start back going to work and and then my car got totaled and then uh, then Lucas came home and we were we were trying to keep him healthy as healthy as we could uh, for a month for surgery and we just <laughs> we just kept on getting sick we were in the ER a couple times then we all got COVID um, a couple days before his surgery when Victoria was still she's coming home from Indianapolis with Lucas and my car had just been totaled and I was driving uh, to work one day but for the very first time I just wept on the way up to work and uh, it was I just remember being really scared but also being just like kind of like frustrated and almost like okay what like what's going on God why are you doing this I would like to say that I was like oh I had faith the entire time that I knew God had control and it was just all you know it was all part of the plan but I don't think it was always that way I felt like there were times where it was I mean, where it was hard to, to have faith that he knew what was going on and that he was going to be, you know, taking care of Lucas. And I think it was, that's, that even in the lack of faith, I thought that was really cool to see that even in our lack of faith, God showed up. There was a, a Christian family who, who had felt led to give us a car. They just said that that was what the Lord wanted them to do. And so they felt, they felt that that was, you know, their calling to help us. Um, and, and we saw God provide in different moments like that. The hardest part for me was the waiting period for surgery, definitely. Um, like figuring out, even the day that we got there for surgery, they said that they were going to have to probably delay us again. And we just felt like, I felt like in the moment we were like, you know, we've waited 12 weeks for this at that point. Yeah, that was, that was so defeating when that actually happened. On October 14th, he, he had surgery and he had his, the repair of his coarctation. And it's kind of amazing to us is that all the expectations that had been set to us as far as he would be on the ventilator for several days, he'd be in the hospital for a week. Uh, those expectations didn't didn't happen. It was he was on the ventilator for several hours, and then he was off the bed. He was eating four hours after surgery. You know, he started eating by mouth, and then we were told a week in the hospital, and he got out on day three. We now have followed up with the cardiologist, and um, we did another scan, and that has gone well, and his heart is. Um, repair, repairing itself and um, doing everything that it should be so that's been great and a blessing for sure. I feel like I've just really been in the works with my, with my relationship with God um, just learning to rely on Him more and to trust Him that what He has planned for us and for our lives and for Lucas's life is what's best for all of us. I feel like uh, I've been in the works just realizing that uh, our plans don't don't go as planned and God has different plans. We're all in the works, but he's there, he's there with us anyways. We're the Reese family and... We're in the works. Woo! Woo!